Hey everyone, this is George Curtis Van Lu here. So excited that you're gonna join me on learning a musical instrument using my book, Method to the Melody. If you don't have the book, the videos aren't gonna work so great. So the first link in the description is to purchase the book. Also make sure to follow, like, and share on all of our social media platforms. Hey guys, it's George Curtis Van Lu here. Let's get started on the next page. So go to the page that's in the title of the video and let's get practicing. So you see here you have Jingle Bells, that's the top song. You know the song, but now you need to learn to play it. So what I want you to do the very first thing before you even start playing, I want you to take your pencil, okay? You should always, always have a pencil when you're playing at home and when you're at band. So take your pencil and go to measure three. Remember each one of those kind of like boxes is a measure, okay? So each one of those bar lines, you learned that a few pages ago. Each one of those bar lines are a measure. So count one, two, three, measure three, you see the notes all kind of move around, they jump around. I want you just to circle that measure. Just put a circle around that whole measure. All four of those notes should be inside of a circle. So I want you to look at the two first measures of the song. And you don't need to practice that a lot. Look at it. It's six of the same notes in a row, okay? So that's not difficult. I want to teach you guys how to practice at home. So what you need to do is find the most difficult parts of every song and practice those parts over and over. So make sure your instrument's out. Make sure you're playing with me. We're going to practice measure three those four notes that are in a circle. We're gonna play them really slow and we're gonna go over and over. We have the first circle, measure three. It's a D, an F, a B flat, and a C. So play it with me, we're gonna pause in between, I'm gonna tell you the note. Ready? D, F, B flat, C. Ready? Again, D, F, B flat. C. Ready? Again. D. F. B flat. C. Now all connected, no pausing in between. Ready? Go. Ready? Again. Ready? Again. Alright, so once you get that part sounding really good, I want you to look at the next few parts, measures of the song. Easy! You have four of the same notes in a row again. So I want you to look at the very last measure of the top line. So go ahead and count from the very first measure with me. Measure one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. In measure eight, you see two half notes. Okay, so each one of those notes get two beats. I want you to circle that measure as well. So put a circle around those two half notes. And what you'll see is those notes jump. There's a far stretch in between each one. You gotta jump really high. So I want you to practice those two notes over and over, really slowly. Now you have two half notes. Ready? C. F. Ready? Go. C. F. Ready? Go. C. F. Now all connected. Ready? Play. Ready? Again. Ready? Again. Now the rest of the song isn't that difficult. You see the third measure of the second line is also the same. You have those jumping notes, you can circle that as well if you'd like, but you've already practiced it. That's what's so cool. There's a lot of repetition in music, so you're actually well on your way to already having the whole song done. Now I want you to look at the last two measures. So you can go to the end of the song, you can just count back one, two. So you have two measures there. Just put a circle around both those measures. So four quarter notes and a whole note. Just put a circle around both of those measures and you'll see that it's a little difficult, those last two measures. So now let's practice that. We're gonna practice that section really, really slowly. Okay, we're gonna pause in between. I'm gonna tell you the notes on the last two measures of the song. Ready? F. F. E flat. C. B flat. Ready? Again. F. F. E flat, C, B flat, ready, again, F, F, 
E flat. C. B flat. Now all connected, here we go. Ready? Play. Ready? Again. Ready? Again. Once you get all those sections sounding good, then all you have to do is go from the very beginning to the very end slowly. So let's play it together. Now I have the whole song of Jingle Bells. Are you ready? Ready? Go. Good job guys. In these videos, I'm not really gonna play every single song with you. I need you to learn how to practice and play on your own as well. So now what I want you to do is in Good King Wenceslas, if there's parts you need to circle, if there's some note names you need to put in, that's totally fine. And on Jingle Bells, you can do that too. Those parts that you're circling, you can write the note names in if you need to to help you play it. So now the last song on the page, Dreidel Dreidel, uh, I want you to take your pencil before you start playing again, and I want you to circle the first measure of the music, and then I want you to count over one, two, three, four, five. Measure five, it looks kind of similar. You've got four little jumping notes that go back and forth in between each one. So measure one and measure five are both circled. Let's practice those parts together really slow. On the first measure, the first circle of the song, let's play it with me, I have an F and a D, here we go. Ready? F. D. F. D. Ready? Again. F. D. F, D, ready, again, F, D, F, D, now we have it all connected, ready, go, ready, again, ready, again, Now we have the fifth measure of the song. We have an E flat and a C. Ready? E flat. C. E flat. C. Ready? Again. E flat. C. E flat. C. Ready? Again. E flat. C. E flat. C. Now we have it all connected. Ready? Go. Ready? Again. Ready? Again. You see that the book already has something written for you. Something's already circled. It's called a quarter rest. It receives one beat. So that little kind of squiggly line, that gets one beat of rest. So you count for one beat when the conductor is, you know, conducting one beat. Rest would be a rest. It's just one beat. So about as long as it takes you to say rest is the rest. So if you kind of say in your head when you get there, rest, and then you can go straight on to the next note. And now the last two measures in this song, I want you to circle those as well. So just go to the end and count back. So one, two, circle those measures. So it should be four notes and a whole note, just like Jingle Bells. But the thing is, is this part here, guess what it is again? It's our scale, the scale. You hear me talk about that so much. 
So what I need you to do is practice this section a lot too. If you notice, the scale is always telling you to get a little faster every time. Now we have quarter note scale, okay? So it's pretty quick. You don't have a lot of time to rest in between. But when you practice, should you practice really fast or slow? You should practice really, really slow. I have the last two measures, all right? So we're gonna go right there. We're gonna pause in between. I'm gonna tell you the note. Ready? F. E flat. D. C. B flat. Ready? Again. F. E flat. D. C. B flat. Ready? Again. F. E flat. D. C. B flat. Ready? Again. Now we have the last two measures all connected. Ready? Go. Ready? Again. Ready? Again. You can even disconnect the notes if you need to play one note at a time, pause, and play the next note. And if you practice each one of these circles that you have, if you practice each circle, and you practice it really slow at home, you can have all these songs sounding good in about five minutes. I'm not kidding. So now that you've practiced all three circles that we have written in dreidel dreidel, first circle, Measure one, second circle is measure one, two, three, four, five. Measure five also has a circle. And then the last two measures of the song are circled as well. So once you've practiced each one of those and they sound great, now let's play the whole song together. All right, now I have the whole song of Dreidel Dreidel. So play it through with me. If you need to, rewind it. We're just gonna do it nice and slow. Ready, play. Ready, play. Job, guys. So there you guys go. This is for your Christmas concert. So make sure you make it sound really, really good. You're going to be playing it in front of friends and family. And it's just really, really exciting. So I'm so glad you got these songs sounding good. Rewatch the video as many times as you need to. You can also just rewind certain sections, okay? So if you keep messing up the one part when I'm playing with you, you can just keep rewinding that one spot and playing along with me. That's the whole reason these videos are made, so you can play along with me. All right? You're all set to go.